How's it going on? You're watching AppGeeker. So let's say you got the iPad unavailable screen, and you don't how to fix it. Don't worry for this. Since iOS or iPad OS 15.2, the iPad is disabled message has been changed to iPad unavailable or security lockout. It's exactly the same thing that your iPad is locked, and because of that you can't get into it or use it now. So in this video, I'm going to show you why the usual lock screen appears to be the iPad unavailable alert, and how to fix it without passcode or without iTunes. The coolest thing about this process is that it's not only super easy but also compatible with all iPads that got stuck on this iPad unavailable screen. Alright, when your screen reads iPad unavailable, the most possible cause is too many wrong passcode attempts at unlocking the iPad. Then iPad locks you out for a while. After waiting for 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, or even 60 minutes, it goes back to the usual background where you can try your passcode to log in again. If your iPad detects an incorrect code one more time, you'll be locked out forever. The locked screen would be iPad unavailable or security lockout, with no try again in minutes. This is what you may come across now. Okay. When you get the iPad unavailable or security lockout message, you'll need to erase and reset your device to remove the passcode and finally unlock it. This means that once you're seeing that iPad is unavailable, all data on the tablet is essentially lost. So hopefully you have backups made previously via iCloud over the air, or save your data in iTunes backup or locally on your computer. So just be sure that you're risking at losing data on the unavailable screen. Now, let's begin. But in this video, I'm not gonna using iTunes to unlock iPad unavailable lock screen. I'm going to show you right now is the erase iPhone function that exactly Apple recommends, as well as a third-party tool called iPad Unlocker from AppGeeker. Both are easier and flexible. All right, method number one is using the erase iPad option. It's magically showing on this unavailable screen, if your iPad is running iPad OS 15.2 or higher, and is connected to cellular and Wi-Fi network, and once you tap on it, iPad should quickly erase and reset without passcode on its own. Now let's do this. Alright, keep typing a random passcode 8 times. Don't worry I know you forgot your passcode. Then, folks, your iPad says it's unavailable try again in 15 minutes. Okay. That's where the magic happens. As you can see here, Erase iPad option is showing at the bottom, letting you reset your unavailable iPad after you enter too many wrong passcodes. So that's what we want. Tap on the Erase iPad option. You'll see this Erase All Content and Settings screen, which informs you that you'll lose all of your data while erasing the unavailable screen. To go ahead, tap Erase iPad option one more time. Then, you'll need to log out of your Apple account to disable activation lock on this iPad. Make sure to input the correct Apple ID password so your iPad is able to erase all data and settings including the locked screen and the forgotten passcode. That's done. Just wait a few minutes here. iPad is wiping away everything itself. You'll see the Apple logo and loading bar on its screen. When the progress bar fills up and the Apple logo flashes again, your iPad will get back to the welcome screen again. Now the iPad unavailable is gone, and you can access the tablet. You can set it up as a new iPad as all content has been erased, or restore from a most recent backup to get back your data. You'll need to try the next method to get the unavailable iPad unlocked. We're gonna employ iPad Unlocker from AppGeeker. You will find it a piece of smart passcode unlocking software for any iPad that is unavailable or disabled, and it gives you more flexibility than iTunes while resetting the locked iPad without passcode and wiping off everything on the iOS device. Okay, now we open iPad Unlocker. On its clean interface, click Wipe Passcode, and then click Start button. Then we grab the unavailable iPad and connect it to the computer. Make sure to use the USB cable that comes with your iPad. If the iPad that is getting unavailable won't connect successfully, the software will prompt you to put it into recovery mode. 
entering recovery mode requires different steps based on your iPad model, and I'll leave a link for this in the description section down below. So mine is iPad 9th generation, and it's in the unavailable state. Because it has a home button, I press and hold down the home button and power button together for 20 to 30 seconds. Just keep holding, and when the recover mode screen appears, let go of the buttons. Now that iPad is in recovery mode, iPad Unlocker should detect it and show its device information on its screen. Check the details and click Start button. At this time, the software is downloading the appropriate firmware to unlock the iPad unavailable screen. This may take a few minutes. Just wait and don't disconnect your iPad. Once the firmware is downloaded, you'll see a dialog box that says the unlocking process will erase all content and settings on your iPad. If you want to do that, enter 0000 and hit unlock button. The process begins. As you can see guys, iPad is restoring now. All of data will be wiped totally clean including the lock screen passcode. The latest version of iPad OS will install on your device. Wait for the procedure to finish, and the software will also inform you that your iPad has been unlocked successfully. Alright, everything has just completed iPad restarts, and the iPad unavailable error has been fixed. You will see the hello screen on your iPad just like when you purchased it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and follow the on-screen guidelines to set up iPad again using your Apple ID and password. Simply choose the language, country or region, set up a new passcode, touch ID or face ID, now or later in settings app to keep anything always secured. When you get into the apps and data screen and if you have a backup of your iPad, you can choose to restore from Mac or PC, or just download from iCloud. If you never backed up your data, anything would be lost and irretrievable. Okay, everything is ready. I'm just able to gain access again to iPad. Absolutely super easy. Make sure to sign into iCloud if you haven't done this in the setup process. So guys, this is everything you need to know about why there's an unavailable screen, and how to fix iPad unavailable problem. Hope these two simpler methods could help you unlock your iPad if you've forgotten the passcode. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button down below, and the subscribe button, and share button. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comment section to tell me what you thought about this video. So that's pretty much it. Bye. See you guys on my next video.